Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we're going to talk about installing VW mud flaps. These are cool little accessories to put on your vintage Volkswagen and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, I get my mud flaps usually on eBay or uh, CIP1.com and as you can see a lot of the repops they take the V out because they have a uh, fear of copyright infringement but I'm going to show you how to make this work. So here's the V in a separate bag and they give you some uh, uh, one ways to put on uh, to, to fasten them. They give you also these brackets, and you're going to want to spray up these brackets because they are not sprayed and they will turn rusty over time. So just get some gloss black spray paint and uh, paint them up. That's usually uh, two L brackets and uh, another short spacer bracket. Uh, just basic black paint, dollar can from Lowe's or something. And then yeah, I get myself like a little poker, and I poke into this little hole here. And you want to be able to go through it and exit out the back end of it. As you can see right here, just make the hole decent, cut through there a little bit. And then you want to pull out your V. As you can see, it's like tabs at the top, and that's going to slip into these uh, these slots right at the top of the circle of the logo. Slip them in, real simple, and the little tab then pushes down through the hole that you just punched. And it should poke out the back. If it's a little stubborn, I get myself like a uh, deep wall socket, maybe like a quarter inch deep wall socket like this, and start pushing down so the little tab sticks through the rubber. And then you get those uh, one-way fasteners. They only go on one way, and it's really tough to get them off. So once they're on, they're on. And uh, you put that over the little tab poking out, get the deep wall socket again, and push down. Now you can use a little hammer if you want to tap down on the top of the socket just to fasten it down, but I usually just push down and it, it goes down okay. So once you push down, uh, you'll see the tab poking through the one way and you're good to go. And there's your VW mud flaps, looking good. Simple enough. Uh, for the sake of this video, we're going to take the tire off. It's just a lot easier to do this with the tire off. And as you can see, with the bumper brackets already on, we want to loosen the uh, the furthest uh, the bolt to the furthest to the uh, rear of the vehicle. Take that bolt out. If you have to tap the threads, make sure you do that inside the body. And that's about an inch and a quarter, uh, 13 millimeter uh, headed bolt that's got eight millimeter threads on it. For this uh, operation, we're going to want to go with like an inch and a half uh, bolt because uh, now they got two brackets mounted on there, it's going to be a little bit thicker. So. Uh, need a little more depth. So here's our here's our painted up brackets, and also the hardware to mount the mud flaps to the brackets. You got to have to get some bolts for that too. Maybe an inch and a quarter are fine. Um, again, uh, eight millimeter threads are fine with the 13 millimeter uh, head, and you're gonna fasten them to the uh, the holes here. But the short end of the bracket is what's gonna be mounting to the body on these earlier Beetles up to 67. As you see. How the way my dad's holding it, the shorter end is going in first. So what we do is, so we don't move the bumper bracket right now because a lot of times those holes to line them up can be difficult. You want to finger tight the first hole there towards the rear of the car. Snug it down by just by hand. And you might have to bend the bracket a little bit just to get it inside the fender area, but that's usually no big deal. Uh, and then you snug this down, not too tight, but just enough to... You know, keep it fastened. You don't want anything to be moving because a lot of times between trying to line up the bracket and then the overrider tube poking through the fender could be a little problematic. And uh, just to try to make this as painless as possible. So then take off the frontmost bolt towards uh, the front of the car and then pull out the overrider tube, support tube, and then slip the bracket under that tube. As you can see here, that's how it should be. Now you might need to get like a sharp implement or an awl or something to poke through the hole to kind of line up the holes, but for the most part it should be okay because you have the front, uh, the rearmost bolt tightened down. Get it in by hand, finger tight, and then you start tightening it down, tightening it down. But again, not too tight right now. I like to push the bracket far back, as uh, far, I'm sorry, closer to the front of the car as much as possible so you have a little more clearance from the fender. You see my dad's bending the bracket here so it clears the fender. We, want, we don't want that rubbing. Tighten that bolt down and should be okay here. Now you get your mud flaps, you gotta get your uh, your bolts, some 5 16 washers I found, some nuts and the, uh, the little uh, short bracket that they also give you in the packet. 
Now you want the bolts to face, the head of the bolts to face uh, you towards the front of the car, but you want more of a finished look under that fender. So of course, poke that through the bracket first to give this a better look. Then get the shorter bracket that sandwiches the rubber. And again, just start tightening that down by uh, finger tight, as you can see here. I like to put a washer on both ends, of course. You could put a lock washer too if you want to be extra safe. Get the other bolt through. Move the bracket on the other end up and just tighten them down. Now, before you tighten them too much, move the uh, mud flap inward so it's not rubbing the fender. And my dad just slid that over. Tighten those down, get your 13 millimeter socket. And you might need a 13 millimeter wrench and tighten it down. And make sure you again you're clear from uh, the bracket rubbing the fender. And that's it. Tighten those down. Now you got your VW mud flaps. If you want to put these on uh, later beetles, 68 and later, uh, here's what you're going to have to do. Use the long side of the bracket to mount to the bumper bracket area, but you're really only going to use one hole. And you're going to use uh, mount the uh, the mud flap to the short side there but only one hole and then as you bolt it down to through the one hole the, the hole farthest to the end of the car just raise the bracket so it's a wedge between the body and that's it uh -huh.